like to what you didn't like? Well, it's, it's the first day of practicing. What I asked them for, I got. I asked for energy. I asked for enthusiasm. I asked for that eagle eye, you know, that, that keen focus on things. And I think we had that today. Uh, you know, we, we didn't have on pads, so just to get them a chance to see them run around for the first time this year and uh, to execute what we're trying to execute, obviously, we got a long way to go. But I was happy with the effort and the way the guys ran around and did what they did today. Coaches, the first practice, obviously, you know, competition on both sides of the ball will be fierce, but um, uh, talking a little, a little bit about you know the quarterback competition, like what are your uh, some of your early thoughts and impressions from today? Well, all of them, all of them can throw the ball. All of them can throw it. But the, the key to it is, you know, being a quarterback is leadership and execution. And one that can execute best and get the rest of the team to gravitate towards them. See, you, the team's got to feel good about the guy they have on the bus with. Them. Because if they love the guy on the bus, the defense plays better and the offense makes plays for them. And so that, that's that's the key. But in terms of having ability, all of them have ability and can do some things. So we just got to work through the competition and see who comes out on top. Um, sticking to the quarterbacks, is there anything you saw from them today? I mean, I mean again, I know it's early, but anything you saw from them that you'll be trying to get them to improve on? Well, you know, making good decisions. You know, not not going through your progression and making sure that they go through their progression and that they trust coaching. You know, sometimes guys make up their minds before they do things. You can't make up your mind coming out of the huddle. You got to go through progression. And, you know, and there was a little bit of that today. Guys making up their mind before they step on the field who they're going to throw to. And that's why you get interceptions. Coach, so uh, obviously stable of running backs on the team, uh, a lot of talent on the field. Uh, what, what, what are your, some, of your, some of your early thoughts on some of the running backs and what they did? Well, today? all those guys can play. You know, I mean, you, you've got guys that come back that have played had played minutes last year. You got Jordan, you've got Quentin, you've got uh, Terrell Kennedy back in the stable. Uh, you, you've got uh, De DeAndre Williams who didn't play last year. He got hurt at the end of the year when we were about ready to play him. So we, we've got some guys that we can hand the ball off to. The, 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 the big thing that we got to get is we got to make sure we have continuity on the offensive line, and those guys have a ways to go, and we got to make sure we get that piece right if we're going to be effective as we need to be. Something you and your coaches talked about in the offseason a lot was uh, competition. Y'all right. said over and over competition fixes everything. Mm -hmm. You can see the competition that these guys have against each other out there. Like there was just this different level of intensity. What did you think about the way they were competing today? That, that's that's who we are. If we don't compete and we don't compete against each other, and I tell them all the time, you know, you compete against each other. In lieu of having somebody to compete against, compete against yourself. You know, get better today than you were yesterday and, and compete a little harder today than you did yesterday. But we've got guys in positions. The thing that I like right now, we've got some young guys who are getting reps. Who, and, and I'm happy that they're getting reps because we have a couple guys injured. And I think in the long run, that's going to make them better because it looks like the young guys tried to start to compete a little bit better today. And that, that's, a, that's a plus for us. Coach, in the, um, I guess the final final portion of practice, the 707 drills, like uh, the defense was coming on on the opposite side of the field. How does that make you feel? What do you mean? They're jumping on the field? Yeah. I, I missed that, man. Like, they did that. <laughs> they, you mean they did that today? Yeah. I got to get make sure I keep that straight done because we can't run out <laughs> on the field, can we? They were making a lot of plays yeah. on the side of the ball. Yeah, but, uh, but that's, I, I want them excited, you know. Uh, the one thing I am, and, and I want them to be, I want them to be them. I don't want to squelch any of their enthusiasm, any of their joy, because then that's me hindering them, and I don't want to ever do anything to hinder them. So as long as they just keep it in practice and don't do it during the games, I'm good with that.